Hey everybody, John with Owl. We're out here at the back end of the Ultimate Rebel. What I'm gonna do today is, I'm going to solve one of the most obnoxious parts of the Sprinter van, and that is the trailer hitch socket, uh, seven pin socket. For some reason, they decided to weld that right on near where you put the hitch pin in. So if you ever tow a trailer or anything, you can see how, or even putting in recovery points, there's almost no space for that uh, hitch pin to go through. It's a real pain to lock it and unlock it. And it's also a pain to plug stuff in. We also are developing, check it out, some really cool Baja Designs backup reverse lights. Get some more lighting back there as you back up. And part of installing those is that we've loosened this hitch step here. What I've done, is take this bracket, <clears throat> excuse me. So I took a cutoff disc and I simply cut that bracket off. And what that bracket housed, so from the factory, the way Mercedes did this, is this whole deal is right there. And you can see how it blocks your ability to get anything uh, in that hitch pin other than finding this one type style of master lock to get in there. And again, it's a pain. And then you've got this socket, uh, goes that way this socket from the factory is right there. And we cut that whole thing off. And so what we're gonna do is we painted the part we cut off so it doesn't uh, get any corrosion. And then the part we cut off, we're actually painting as well. And then we're actually gonna reuse this bracket onto the hitch step. So we're gonna mount the hitch step. We're gonna drill a single hole in this, and then we're gonna bolt this through one of the tread plates. And our socket's gonna be out here where it's usable. Uh, we're gonna set it back a little bit so that we're not really affecting our departure angle much. It's also gonna give us an opportunity to have nice clear view of those rear backup lights that we're adding. And it's a nice little mod, doesn't really cost anything. So if you have a hitch step, uh, I think it's a great opportunity, little weekend project to cut this thing off and relocate. All right, so here's the finished product. We ended up drilling two holes in that bracket that we cut off. You can see it ends up with a nice clean install. It's mounted horizontally now, which doesn't cause any issues. You just plug it in and it's really easy to access. You've got much, much better access to that hitch pin back there. So all in all, it's like a 10, 15 minute mod. Again, you need a cutoff disc, a drill, and these are some, I don't know, quarter inch bolts that we used in there, but it ends up making the whole plugging and unplugging of trailers way, way easier. <laughs>